And I, I, I think one day, because probably after I watched There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson, that ending just got me, I don't know, it just snapped something in my brain and I was just like, this, I have to do this. this I can't picture myself doing anything else. I was first exposed to, I guess what most would consider classic films at a really young age. My dad basically would, instead of like putting on kid shows for me, he basically just put on Turner Classic Movies and that was kind of that was basically all I watched for most of the days. So like now I have like a lot of friends who will talk about kids' television shows and how they, like how they recount them and I just have no idea what's going on. When I became a teenager and a little more rebellious, I started trying to find my own taste and I got like really interested in like I guess the rule breakers and the people who took that old cinema that I grew up with and kind of like changed it in their own ways. From a really young age, just like cinema, my dad was like really keenly interested in me pursuing hockey, baseball, lacrosse. And I remember like even when I was young, <laughs> my dad would like lie about on the forms of what my age was so I could be able to like start playing. By the time my freshman year came around, I had just finished my second surgery and I got a new set of injuries so I was going to have to get a third surgery and I made the really hard decision to just quit hockey which was really tough on the entire family because it affected my dad a lot and it kind of caused this split in our relationship with quitting hockey and lacrosse and baseball it kind of freed up a lot of time and it was time I probably should have used to do more schoolwork, but instead I used it to kind of go back into cinema because that was the one thing that really gave me comfort day to day. Just watching these films on the TV, my dad would eventually come sit down and watch them with me. We'd talk about them. I'd watch some old movies and we'd sort of like kind of reconnect the bond between us through cinema. From a young age, I've always been writing short stories and discovering that I wanted to be a filmmaker, it only felt natural to want to write my stories as well. It really came down to like, what's the next move? Should I move to LA where I know nobody and just start working on sets and get any job I can? Should I go to film school? Should I try and stay around the New York area and just try and do as much as possible? Chicago was, it seemed kind of like a middle ground between New York and LA. I think ultimately I'm happy. And just like, I remember the first time just like sitting in a classroom and having like a teacher talk about film because I didn't, we didn't have those in my high school. I grew up in a very small town. And like for those type of classes, we had like woodworking and programming. None of them had to do with film. So just hearing a professor talk about film was like a really happy moment for me because I'd never experienced anything like it. Just learning film always came from me in front of my laptop screen or in front of the TV, just like taking notes or just staring at it and crazy fascination.